Hey guys, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a database to your website using WebStarts and an application called Airtable. WebStarts makes it easy for you to design a website because you can drag and drop any of your design elements where you want them to appear on your page. But one of the reasons why people still program websites by hand is because they want to create a custom database. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how I created a custom database and then embedded that into the website. And the demo that I'm using is for this baseball showcase. I have some players and then I have some data that I'm tracking for each player along with an image and some rating stars and things like that. And when I update this database, it will update the data that's reflected in this table right here that you see on my website. But before I jump in, I want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and enable notifications. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on how to create a free website, online store, internet marketing, and a variety of other internet related topics. So the first thing you'll need to do is jump over to webstarts.com, click get started, it's free. There you can sign up and create an account. You can choose the design on the second step. Choose any design, they're all 100% customizable and can be changed at any time. I've already created a design, so I click log in and then I'm gonna log in to my existing Web Starts account. I'm gonna select the website that we'll be working on for this demo. Once you're logged into your account, you'll see something like this. It's called the dashboard view when you hover over the thumbnail to your website. You can click on edit site and that opens up the web starts page editor and that's where we'll be working today. You can see I've already added this table to my web starts page editor, but I'm about to show you how I did that. Moving over to Airtable, you can click here to sign up and create an account if it's your first time or you can click sign in. I'm going to sign in to an existing account and once you're logged into your Airtable account, You'll see there are a number of templates, they call them bases, that you can use as a, a template, and they're just databases. Each column represents a different, uh, you know, data entry point, and then going across is each row, and those are the actual data that populates those columns. So that works just like a spreadsheet in that way. Of course, I'm working on this one that I call Baseball Showcase down here that I created myself. If it's your first time to Airtable and you want to create a blank database, you can click Add a Base right here. But I really recommend checking out their templates and seeing if there's something that you can just modify before you create something from scratch. I'm going to click on my Baseball Showcase template, and here I've added some columns like player name, infield velocity, video, rating, outfield velocity, pitching velocity, so on and so forth, all the way to the profile pick. So when I populate any one of those fields, like let's say, for example, it's this video field, and I click to populate it, it's going to be reflected automatically on the database on my website. So I'm not going to go into my website to make these changes. I'm going to go into Airtable to make these changes. So for example, if I want to change Joe Smith's name to Jack Johnson, let's just say for instance, and then go to my website and refresh, you'll notice because the database entry is updated that now the name is Jack Johnson. And the same applies to each one of the columns here that we're asking for in the database. Now the way you embed this on your website is using the embed HTML feature in Web Starts. But before we do that, I'm going to show you where you can generate the code for your base. You click on the view option and then you're going to select the option to embed this view on your site. That will open up a page here. You'll see this iframe code. That's what you'll be copying and pasting to your clipboard. Notice that you can toggle a couple of these switches to affect the way that that's laid out. So if you want to show the controls or not show them, you can choose that. And if you want to use this card style display as opposed to a regular table, you can do that. And that's what I've done for this demo. So when you're ready, just once again, select this code and copy it to your clipboard. And then you're going to place it on your website by going back over to your page editor. So I'm in the page editor. I've got this big blank space. I click insert HTML and then I'm just going to paste that code in the field provided and then I'm going to drag it and drop it where I want it to appear on the page. 
And then you can see my database is now on my web page. I'm going to click Save to publish those changes. And then I can click View Site to view the live site. And now, at any time, if I want to update one of those photos or any information about any of these uh, players that appear in the database, I can do that through Airtable just by going back, logging in, and then making a change to my database. And then, of course, you know, like I mentioned in the beginning, this applies to all types of databases. It's not limited to anything to do with sports. I mean, you can create a personal CRM, a project tracker, a restaurant guide. There's tons of examples in here. There's event planning. Anything that you need to share a database publicly can be created. I hope you found this video to be helpful. As always, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by tapping the subscribe button and enabling notifications. And be sure to go to webstarts.com to create your very own free website, online store, or blog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.